Hi guys. Rubber band racers, five in one model. Kit that I picked up in a charity shop. Cost me £1.99. I've no idea how much they cost normally. And I've no idea how old this kit is. So the rubber bands that are in it have already failed. So copyright 2020, Thames Cosmos. So they're at least 2020. So we're in 2023, so they could be three years old. Anyway, I built the aeroplane and had a bit of success with it. Let's not beat about the bush. It didn't fly well, but maybe I didn't adjust it right. Anyway, next on the list, after the aeroplane, is a helicopter which uses the same central section so we can take it apart and save the central section and the propeller is the same way round so yeah we don't need to modify that but we need to add a few bits on the back there and it's even got wheels on it I can't understand why but it's got wheels on it so we'll assemble that one So we don't need the wings. And the tail. And I might as well take those rubber bands off because they've already started to break. So we'll sort some out. We might reuse some of them, but certainly the one that's broken is no point in using that. So we don't need that piece on there. Slide that off. Must be another piece that can go on the bottom there. Be one of these two. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, that might be the piece. Nope, that's no, not that piece. But we do need that piece. Need a piece like that. Another piece like that.
another piece like that. Another piece like that. I'm going to go in there. And that piece. No, not that piece. It's got to be one with a bend in it. Those pieces. Okay, and then the wheels, which we already have from the other thing, from the aeroplane. Okay, I suppose this is to try and give it some sort of balance. Like that. Right. Um, rubber bands. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. And that's the broken one. Uh, one more. Take that off there again. Three and the bottom. Right. So that's our helicopter. We'll go outside and give it a try. with just 50 turns to begin with to see if it actually gets off the ground no <laughs>
what I'll do is I'll hand launch it. I won't throw it, I'll just let it go if it's actually going to lift off my hand. No. But these are not the original rubber bands, so we may not have enough power. <laughs> no, it's not going to do it, is it? Um, you know, like I say, it may not be fair, they may not be powerful enough rubber bands. Without the wheels on, whether it'll have enough stability. Nah, even without the wheels on. I'm trying to pile the power on to give us a chance of it actually flying. And those bands can't take that much power. Right, fresh rubber. Put the wheels back on, but we'll go for a hand launch. And I'll give it a little bit of a throw. Well, it sort of did a controlled descent, didn't it? I'll take the wheels off so it's lighter. We had a brief session of sort of horizontal flight. And again, a little bit of a push. Yeah. We're not climbing. 
or not significantly. So a stronger rubber band might do it. Gentle push again. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of height. But I don't think we'd have climbed off the ground. And we certainly wouldn't have got off the ground with the wheels. So we need a much more powerful motor. Summary time for the helicopter. Well, it looks fun, but we need a more powerful motor to actually get it to lift. That's a more powerful motor than I was using initially. I used fresh rubber bands and used more of them. And we just about managed to get it to climb a little bit without the wheels on it. So just those stabilizer fins. If I'd have put the wheels on it, it wouldn't have risen off the ground at all. So with this one, you need a much more powerful motor. Hobby grade rubber, I expect, would do it.